So I'd like to talk a little bit about why uh, the district is pursuing this approach to capital projects, specifically when I say capital projects, the projects of, of renovating and, and keeping our schools in the condition that we come to expect um, for Hopewell. It allows the district to access funds, state aid, that we would not otherwise be able to uh, access. And it also allows the district to be more strategic in the long-term planning, um, right? Um, the bond referendum approach is, is separate and apart from our regular operating budget. Every year we budget, we plan, and we pitch to the board, this is what our costs are, this is the budget we're proposing for this year. About 80% of that pie, right, when we're looking at the overall operating cost of a school district, is tied up in the direct instruction of our students. That's our teachers, um, the cost of transportation, the cost of energy, the, uh, the cost of supplies that keep us running have really strained our budget. So the way schools traditionally plan for these capital projects incrementally by putting money aside, by saving for projects, the, uh, the age of our buildings and the amount of restoration and, and renovation that needs to take place and, and some of these projects need to happen simultaneously, are just really outpacing our, our operating costs and what we can generate um, through our normal means of, of creating a budget.